This student clinician is using technology to unlock the voice inside Aiden. The five-year-old's one of the students attending an intensive two-week program called Augmentative and Alternative Communication, offered by Chapman University here at Los Alamitos Elementary School and other area campuses. Aiden is a child who has cerebral palsy, which means his body really just doesn't work, but he's totally cognitively like any other kid, any other kid going into kindergarten. So technology is going to let him have a voice. So he's going to be able to participate in the general ed curriculum, just like any other kid, except his voice output's going to come from a device. Janet Dodd runs Chapman's AAC program. Her student clinicians, or communications guides, use sign language, communication boards, voice devices, and other technology to help develop language skills in children with a wide spectrum of communication challenges including cerebral palsy and autism. I want bubbles, nice job! And what they do is they act as their guide and they scaffold and create communication opportunities. They model for them how to use their device. So just as we provide verbal models to kids who are learning language, you know, we're always, we're always kind of talking about what we're doing, we do that with technology and we end up describing to them, oh, look, I am putting this in with their device. So we're modeling language with the support of the language system. Communications guide Kate Nethery works one-on-one -on -one with Nathan every day. She says the devices are a great leap forward from the communications boards they also use. Well, it makes a big deal, especially for kids that, you know, aren't able to vocalize immediately. To have an application, especially electronically, is so much faster to be able to program. You immediately can give him the words that he needs. Every day I add words based on our activities. So I added our paint colors, the word marble, things like that within a minute so that he could have access and be able to use them. And just like any student, Nathan also uses the technology to occasionally veer off the lesson plan. Gonna tell me something right now. So he just requested juice. You can see, I want juice. He found it all by himself, went into the snack folder to request. Program coordinators say as we move into the age of technology with tablets and iPads becoming a mainstream part of general ed, every kid, whether they are verbal or nonverbal, will be introduced to the ability to communicate through technology. Grandfather David Smith says the device has been a breakthrough for three-year-old Cole. And he's just been able to link things together for us more than he ever has before, to navigate from one piece to another and to kind of articulate a little bit better what he wants to do. And we think that's really important because we get better behavior out of them then. There's a lack of frustration because he can go to a tablet or a surface and just move and point and get to where he wants to go. For mom, Marissa Garcia, the program's been nothing short of a miracle for her son, Mario. Oh, it's the greatest feeling in the world. It's just something, um, you, as a parent, I can't even explain. Um, the first time he said, like, a word, and pointed to what the word was, was probably one of the greatest days of my life when he did that. And, um, and him just using his words now, it's, it's priceless. This has probably been one of those aha moments of life, giving kids a voice and, and changing the way we perceive who they are. Because um, some of our kids have autism and they're nonverbal, but you put a technology in front of them and they're able to communicate and show to you that there's a voice inside. So it, it's a great feeling. And, you know, just to be able to mark the progress, it, it really is encouraging for us. You know, I can't wait to see what's going to happen tomorrow with them. Today's good, but tomorrow will be better. You don't take anything for granted, you know. That's words. Um, never meant so much to me until I heard them come out of my son. <laughs>